Happy Friday, everybody. Hope you had a good week. I'm Kathy. Welcome to Yarn with Heart today on June 7th. Uh, June is one of my favorite months. Don't, don't get me wrong. I do love sweater weather too. Um, I love the cooler ones, but uh, I love flowers and um, they're so pretty. And when I'm on my hikes, I like to see everyone's gardens and to see the plants and everything greening up. It's starting to be in bloom now. Uh, my crochet and knitting changes a bit when the weather gets warmer too. Does yours too? I'd love to see, hear what your favorite things to crochet and knit are in this season. Um, if you'd like, you can leave a comment and I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much everyone for your comments and shares, for subscribing and liking. Um, a quick note for new people who've joined me recently information about the patterns and the events that I'm going to be talking about, uh, the ones that I'm going to be participating in this month, those will be in the description box below. Now this week's video will be about two completed items. The adventure blanket is now completed and a prayer shawl is ready. I'll be meeting up this morning at a uh, the group that I meet up with in person most first Fridays of the month. So that prayer shawl is ready. Uh, today I will also show some mail that I received last week um, about some stitch markers that were a gift from a lovely YouTube friend. Also some stitch markers that I purchased from another YouTube friend. And there's yarn, a bit of yarn that I purchased from Mary Maxim. Um, also, a new free event that I just heard about uh, where I will be trying to learn something new. It's uh, a, an event that will be starting on June 10th. So there's plenty of time to join that one if you'd like. And some quick mentions about other events that I will be following in June. Next week, I hope, will be about a completed hat and scarf for the Crochet Along for a Cause event and possibly a start on a children's blanket. That will be the second one that I make for the Ottawa Blanket Drive. Um, there will be also updates about how that June 10th event went for me. So please wish me luck on that one. So if you subscribe and ring the notification bell, you won't miss that next video that will be on June 14th. So jumping right into the completed items, the first one is a prayer shawl. This one I um, showed partial um, a work in progress last week. This is the Brenna shawl. I did an alternative version. A video was available by Fiber Spider. The Brenna shawl is available on Ravelry for a version that has this pretty um, lace detail on the bottom of the shawl. Fiber Spider made an alternative version where the lace detail is also on the top of the shawl as well. So that's what I chose to do. This one, um, the original shawl is a pattern by Purple Iguana. So it was a free download and I did have both available to myself. Uh, this one I used um, Burnett Softy Baby Stripes yarn and a 5 millimeter hook and used some leftover yarn that I had left from 
a, um, a baby blanket. So this will be my prayer shawl that I donate this, this month's prayer shawl. Um, and a link to this pattern and also Fiber Spiders tutorial will be in the description box below. The color of the yarn that I used was called finger paint. I plan to do one of these also in a solid yarn, but I haven't found a solid yarn that I like the look of. I'm still uh, checking my stash to see if I can find one that um, is a similar weight to this yarn. I tried it with um, a thicker number four, and I also tried it with a medium weight four. And I think I'm just going to stick with this uh, weight three yarn because it really does drape nicely, and I preferred this. So um, I will still do a solid. Um, I, I will do this shawl again with a solid just waiting to find the yarn that I really like in this pattern. The drape with a number three is really nice. Now the second completed item is my adventure blanket. And I worked so hard with on this one last week. I thought, wow, for a 48 inch by 60 inch blanket, this is taking a long time and it's taking a long time to get around this blanket. Well, what I realized after I was completed it and I measured it, this is actually a 60 inch by 72 inch blanket and that explains it. Uh, <laughs> so it's a much larger blanket than I realized, but I'm good with that. I am so happy with how it um, turned out and definitely will make another similar blanket in the future. It's, it's um, so nice the way that uh, these two ladies came up with such a variety of stitches that can be used in the stripes of these, of this blanket. These are the ones that I used in making mine. And I did change the orientation of the stitches. Some people's blanket, I will show you in just a quick moment. Here, I'm just showing the stitch patterns that were in mine. And this is the I can't, it's hard to show the border because mine is in navy. There we go. Um, mine I made so that the stripes went in this direction. Many people who were making the blanket oriented the stripes in this direction. So either way, this is such a versatile blanket and I absolutely loved it working with the pattern, I will definitely use this one again in the future. So the yarns that I used were Brava Sport in the colors um, Custard, Clarity, and Celestial, and the white is Lion Brand, Pound of Love, in the color white. So this was a pattern, the Adventure Blanket Crochet Along pattern by Sunflower Cottage Crochet and Ambassador Crochet. So there we go. And what a joy that one was to work. I'm looking forward to donating that one to Casting Off the Cold, and I think it will be... Uh, my husband, when he saw it, he said, the nice thing in that one is it will be um, suited to 
many ages, a young teen, an older teen, so many people could enjoy that one. So, yeah, thank you ladies for a beautiful blanket. Now, um, the next thing, I did get some mail last week. And one of the things was Mary Maxim had a buy five items, get free shipping. And although in May I was planning not to buy any yarn, I did buy some yarn. The main reason, the main reason that I decided to buy some yarn and wanted to take advantage of the free shipping was because of Bamboo Fair. I got two, one of the Bamboo Fair in ivory and another, this one is in the color, one moment, um, fossil. So the reason I got these two, people who've been watching a few of my videos know I've been working on a mystery crochet, a mystery knit along shawl. I was a little concerned that I might run out of yarn before I finished that shawl. This way I had free shipping and I could uh, be sure that I had enough of the yarn I needed to finish the shawl. I was looking elsewhere to see if I could find this yarn at a, an in-person store, and I don't see any stores nearby me that carry it. So it was good fortune that, it was very good that Mary Maxim had that free shipping offer, and I took advantage of that. Then I needed to check for three more items in order to get that free shipping. One of the things they had was this uh, ice cream roving divigation, which I've never tried this one by Lion Brand before. I decided to try one of them. It The color I chose was called Capri, and it is a seven ounce 200 gram ball there's 473 yards or 400 meters and i liked the color i thought i'll try one and see how that is there's no twist in the yarn whatsoever it's um a generous number four so i do like that about it and i like the colors so I thought I would try that. And the other two items that I decided is I got two of their one pound yarn ends bags and they sent me lovely colors of white and a red. And those will work well because um, they're colors that a lot of people like. I can use them for uh, donations and Christmas is coming so that will be a good yarn to use for Christmas makes as well. So that was my Mary Maxim purchases and um, yeah that was those were the ones that I got from Mary Maxim. Now another item this was, ooh, this was from a purchase that I made from a friend. Her name is Trish, and she lives in Saskatchewan. I enjoy her, oh, sorry. I'm so sorry for that. I just kicked the table leg. She lives in Saskatchewan, and here is her card. It's 
it says here she offers crochet, stitch markers, paintings, and handmade jewelry. She does have a YouTube channel. And I purchased some stitch markers from her. Let me get a piece of paper behind so you can see. This is one of her angel stitch markers. The beads are just beautiful. I hope you can see how they shimmer. They're so such tiny beads. There we go. I have no idea how she can work with something so small. My eyesight is not so wonderful. And this is just so beautiful. She picked a lovely color, such beautiful pink. And I also purchased a turtle stitch marker. And what I didn't realize was that on the turtle would be these beautiful stones added on. They're just gorgeous. And you can see the colors of teal in the stones, and I do like that color. I'm wearing some, this, the green, greenish teal. I collect turtles. I collect angels, and I collect turtles. So these are both going to be cherished by me, and I will put uh, Trisha's channel information below if you'd like to reach out to her. Um, I enjoy watching the replays of her lives and just hearing the chat about what's happening in Saskatchewan with her. Her husband does some work with clay and he added a special little, little treasure for me around to it. Thank you so much for including that. My husband and I thought that was really sweet and thank you for adding that in for us. Um, she enclosed, uh, included a little note for me too, but I, I treasured the, the notes and um, I won't read that on, on video. I'll save that for myself. Another, another friend sent me a, a gift. And this gift is from um, Gina from the Knitting Turnpike. Gina has been such an inspiration for me because I was... I've been learning such so much about knitting from her channel and also um, because she's inspired me to keep trying with my knitting. She sent me, um, previously, she sent me a gift of a pattern. This is the mystery knit along pattern from Rami Hill that I've been working on. Thank you so much, Gina, for that. Um, I wasn't sure how it would be. You've encouraged me to try and I've learned so much with that pattern. And thank you for, for that. She's just um, a beautiful person and also um, she sent me a set of stitch markers, and these are, I, I was such a surprise. I um, received them from someone from Etsy that Gina purchased them 
from for me. Gina knows I like tea, and each of these is a little teacup and saucer. There's so many here, and they're each a little different. I think what I'll do is I will take a picture of them all and show a picture of these beautiful stitch markers. So thank you so much. Oh, yeah, it's hard for me to show them. There we go. So yeah, some of them have saucers. There we go. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Gina. And I will show a picture of Trisha's beautiful work and Gina's lovely stitch markers up in the corner as I'm talking about them. Thank you, both of you, for such a thoughtful and I, I can't even, people, people, I'm, I'm so grateful that you watch me here and that I've made friends here. And thank you for being here, everybody. I'm so grateful. So now I would like to share with all of you um, about some of the events that I'm going to be following this month. Well, first, let me let me also say that um, I'm close to 300 subscribers here and when my channel does reach 300 subscribers I would like to have a surprise um, maybe some some kind of a surprise that people will be able to participate in a chance at winning something I just I would like to share with the people here who've shared so much with me. You don't, you don't, um, mm. I don't know how to express this. You don't have, there's no words for what this channel has brought bringing so many beautiful people into my life. It's really, um, I hope that I can give as much as I receive as far as the friendships that I'm making here. That's what I'd like to say. So now starting into what I'm hoping to share with you today, I'm going to talk about the events that I'm going to be following uh, this month, starting on June 10th and continuing for, I think it's five or six days. There's something called Double Dare, um, the Double Knitting Challenge. It's by Jessica Ayer from Double the Stitches. I'm hoping to learn a new technique and this one's knitting it's how to create reverse <clears throat> excuse me i'm still kind of emotional sorry <laughs> so uh, i'm hoping to learn a new technique this one's knitting um it's how to create 
reversible fabrics um, with two layers. So that's where both sides are like a mirror image. So each day I'm going to set aside 30 minutes to an hour where I can learn and practice. So if you'd like, you can jump in and give this event a try. Um, the link, of course, to all the events that I'm doing in June is in the description box. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to challenging myself with that event. Uh, a second event that I'm participating in is a scavenger hunt, and it started on May 26th. And that one's called the Countdown to Summer Scavenger Hunt. It's by Jamie from Remington Lane Crochet. And this one, I think it continues until June 20th. So there's plenty of time to uh, join in if you'd like. And after signing up or joining in, you check a few links in an email. And in one of those links, you would see the image of a sun. And if you click on that, it would bring you to a surprise and it could be a download. It's been sometimes uh, often a download or it could be a link to another piece of content or something else, maybe a, another surprise. So it's all good fun. So that's a second one that I'm participating in. And the third one, it's something I've done for years now, three years. Um, this one is uh, by Hooked on Homemade Happiness. It's called The Crochet Along for a Cause by Brienne Maudlin. And it's for 10 weeks. Each week she uh, offers a hat pattern. And if you download that, you're pledging to donate at least one hat, maybe multiple hats, to a local school or a hospital or a shelter. Yeah, and this will be my third year that I'm donating. And I'm so grateful to Brienne for offering her beautiful patterns. Uh, it's usually a simple stitch that um, I can then use to make a coordinating scarf, or I just choose a different stitch and make a coordinating scarf to go with it. And then I donate both of those, all of those items to Casting Off the Cold. And of course, this month, I'll be participating in the Tropical Bird of the Month and the book cover of the month make-alongs. Uh, I see that there's some new subscribers, so let me describe a bit about those. Uh, the Tropical Bird of the Month make-along is by Judy's Creations in Crochet, and the inspiration is a pretty bird picture. Uh, Judy has a different picture every month, and is shown to everyone on the first of the month, and then you choose one color or many colors from that picture. Some people even use the background pictures when deciding their yarn colors. And then it's a make along. So you could knit, you could crochet, you could weave. Some people have uh, dyed yarn and then send in your picture. And then that picture is part of um, a, a a video where Judy will show all of the people who've participated. She'll show their submissions and um, that's really been a lot of fun. So if you'd like, you can pop over to Judy's channel and see a little bit more about that one. Um, and then there's the book cover of the month. It's a crochet, uh, crochet along by Crochet with Nona Rosanna. This month, there's two options of a book cover to choose from. Um, I'm not sure yet which book, book cover I'm gonna choose, 
and last month's crochet along was great fun. I made a cat stitch wrap and I'm looking forward to making something again for my gift cover, gift cupboard using that um, inspiration picture. I'm intrigued by the book this month and I might read it. You don't have to read the book to participate in the crochet along, but yeah, I looked and um, I might check at the library and see about checking out this book. Um, yeah, so at the end of the month, Rosanna makes a video so you can see the way that other people have been inspired by those colors and what they've made. So it's quite surprising that at this moment I only have one work in progress on my needles and nothing at the moment started on my hook. So I'm very excited to start some new things and looking forward to knowing what new yarny adventures are in store for next Friday. So until then, enjoy your knitting and enjoy your crochet. And I hope to see you next week.